Android is a platform where you can customize each and everything. But there are such Android settings which are still unknown to you. And today in this video I am going to talk about 11 Android settings you should change right now. So friends, I am Shovik here and welcome to my channel 1 million gadgets. I think this happens to all. Whenever we give our phone to our friend, Without accomplishing their needs, they like to mess around our gallery. But wait, before you hand over your phone, head to settings, move to security and active screen pinning option. And make sure to active ask for unlock pattern before unpin. Then open your recent apps and on the bottom right corner you will find a pin icon. Then tap on it, your last opened app will be pinned. Now if the user tries to get back from the particular app, he need to surpass an unlock pattern. Now hand over your phone without any worry. Normally in Chrome browser we get the search bar or the Chrome URL bar on the top of the browser. But we can bring the bar or the tab option at the bottom of the browser. For this type this URL and search it. Then a new page will open. Here you get some experimental features of Chrome browser. Now here we will make some changes for this scroll and search Chrome home or you can tap on find page and it will be a little bit easier for you. Just type here Chrome home. After finding the Chrome home option, the Chrome home option is in default mode. If you tap on the drop down menu, you will get to option enabled and disabled. Tap on enabled. Then you will get relaunch now option. Tap on relaunch now and the app will relaunch. But to bring the search bar at the bottom you need to relaunch the app two times. Then after relaunching the app second time you will get the result. Now here it is, it's your old chrome browser but experience it in new way. If you pull it up here you will get the home, downloads option, bookmarks and history. Now your chrome browser is very handy, you can get quickly access everything very easily. It happens to everyone that sometimes we clear notification by mistake without checking them. And after that we can't get what notification we have got from which app. But don't worry, just go to widget section and from there search settings shortcut, then bring the shortcut to home screen. After that select notification log from there and that's it. Open notification log and you will get all the notification you have missed out. When you get notification from an app, if we pull down the notification, we can check the content of the notification. And the same case happens in the log screen also. But sometimes some sensitive notification like personal messages, uh, personal mails are highlighted on the notification. But we don't want those notifications to be highlighted or to show someone. If anyone uh, tap on the lock button and try to unlock the phone, they can check the notification. But don't worry, we can hide this sensitive notification content. For this go to settings, then from there tap on notification. And over here tap on when device is locked. And over here you can see hide sensitive notification content. Just tap on it. Lock the screen. And over here you can see contents are hidden in every notification. But sometimes we don't need to hide every notification cause we need news updates or updates from YouTube or any app updates. For this again go to notification and from here select app notification and here you will get all the installed app of your phone. Over here if you select any particular app here you will get option sensitive. If you enable the sensitive option from this app then you can particularly hide the sensitive content of this app. And over here you can see I have particularly hidden the TOI sensitive notification and here it is showing the contents are hidden. Whenever you install any app from Play Store, we get a verified by Play Protect badge over there. But do you think your smartphone is protected from third party apps? I think no. So for this tap on the side panel of Play Store and over there tap on Play Protect. You will find scan device for security threats is active, but below that option you will find improve harmful app detection is not active. Just active this option 
then scan all your apps again. And this option is for third party apps. If you install any app from other sources out of Play Store, then Play Protect will scan that app. If your phone is running on stock Android, then it's okay. You have the Google Keyboard or Gboard. But if you don't have Google Keyboard or Gboard in your phone, just go to Play Store and download Gboard because it's the default keyboard of Google. Now Google Keyboard also comes under Android settings. And here is a cool feature from Google Keyboard. I hope you know it, but if someone doesn't know this, then have a look. If you tap and hold the search icon for some time, a one hand mode will highlight. And from here you can resize your keyboard. You can move your keyboard from left side to right side. And this is a good feature from Google Keyboard cause day by day smartphones are getting bigger, taller, but our hands are limited. We cannot reach from one side to another side. So it's a good feature during texting, we can use it by one hand. Now we have another cool thing from Gboard. Just head to Gboard setting, then tap on preferences and from preferences enable number row. And here it is, you will get a highlighted number row on top of Gboard. Now your typing will be more easier and you can experience more faster typing. Now don't lose your hope after losing your Android smartphone. Just head to settings, then go to security. And from security move to device administrators and over here you will get find my device option. If this option is not enabled then tap on it and enable it. But nowadays every new smartphone comes with this option and they are already enabled. And unfortunately if you lose your device then no need to worry. Just download the find my device app from play store and from there you can track your device or you can erase data of your device. Now we are going to reduce the animation scale and I hope you all have seen animation during opening any apps or opening anything or sliding in screen or sliding up and down in your browser. If there is no animation during opening apps and doing every work in your android smartphone then it will look very awkward. But if we reduce the default animation scale of our phone, our phone will get more snappier. So for this let's jump to setting. Then go to about phone. Now inside about phone tap on build number for 7 times until you see the developer option gets active. Then move to developer option and from developer option find animation. And here you will find 3 animation scale. The first one is windows animation scale and the second one is transaction animation scale and the third one is animator duration scale. And the default animation scale is 1.0x but we will make it 0.5x uh, so it will make it more snappier. Now you can check the animation scale it's not very fast not very slow but it's very smooth and snappier. After using any android app if you totally close the app the app still runs in background and consumes battery and reduces performance of your smartphone. Now let me show you an example. Here I am using an AMOLED wallpaper app, after using it I totally close the app. But if we move to the app settings, we can see the app is still running in background and we have to force stop the app to make it completely stop. But wait, why will we waste so much time and have to complete a long process to force stop an app? Here I have a shortcut, just move to developer settings, then scroll down to bottom. And over here you will find the option named key lab back button. Just enable this option and that's it. Now let me show you. This option allows us to kill apps by long pressing the back button. By this way we can easily force stop any app. I hope you have heard the news that android has bought try now feature for some play store apps. That means you can try an app before installing it. And to active this feature you need to go to settings, then go to google and from there active instant apps. And that's it, now go to play store and try some instant apps. And I want to tell you one thing that this feature may not be available in all android smartphones. If your handset is running on backdated android version then you may not get it.
Nowadays every smartphone includes a feature named blue light filter. It mainly reduces the blue tint of a smartphone display and increase warmness. Now let me tell you what is the use of this filter. Nowadays most of the time we get obsessed with a smartphone but it's not good for our eyes. And if you act a blue light filter, it reduces strain on our eyes. It mainly reduces the blue color and help our eyes to relax. But this look little bit awkward, it increases warmness of our display so we don't need to use it for all time, just use it at night cause it help us to easily fall asleep. And you will get this feature in your notification drawer of your smartphone or inside settings in display mode. If this feature is not available in your smartphone, then no need to worry, head to play store and download blue light filter and include it in your settings. So friends, if this video is really helpful for you, then put a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and obviously hit the bell icon for latest tech notifications. So tata friends, bye bye, have a nice day.